Why hello there, how you all doing? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be talking about the FIFA 21 scam that barely anyone is really talking about. I'm seeing no real uproar in the community, and I kind of feel like if this was in literally any other scene, Call of Duty, any worldwide large community, I swear to be people up in arms about this, but... I've only just found out about this now. So I'm going to go into this today and hopefully you guys do enjoy. Smash the like button and also subscribe if you are new. Now, of course, my opinion on this game in the last couple of days and weeks has been pretty mixed. I do like the, the idea of where the game is going to. I like the gameplay. There's just a few server issues which I feel like should be improved in the future. And if it does get changed, then we have to find out. But hey, that's the entire point of playing a video game. Sometimes you just don't like every single thing, which is completely fine. And that is what you should expect from a community of people on a massive platform. However, however, there's one platform which I actually can't believe has been dealt like this and has been treated like this. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to present to you the FIFA 21 Legacy Edition. Yes, Legacy Edition. Now, when you hear that, you may think a few things. You may think, oh, Legacy. Maybe it's a brand new edition. I mean, you know, when we see Ultimate Edition, Champions Edition. So you may think, oh, it's like a special edition. You get like some new packs or some, you know, maybe some different kind of things. No, no, it's not that at all. It's basically a way for them to try to trick people into thinking that it is a different version of the game. And oh, it is a different version, all right. FIFA 21 Legacy Edition on a Nintendo Switch. This is a full priced version of FIFA on the Nintendo website, it will cost you $49.99 in dollars, and on August can cost you £35, and I believe it was at first at £40 UK. It is a full price version of the game of FIFA 21, and guess what? It is the exact same to FIFA 17. The exact same. You may not believe me, but look it up. When you load up FIFA 21, it says that it copies the same innovative features from FIFA 20. Now, when you go on FIFA 20, it also says that it copies the same innovative features from FIFA 19. And 19 says the same thing about 18, and 18 says the same thing about 17. It's the same game. It's literally the same game. There's not a single thing that's different in gameplay since FIFA 17. And EA will go about saying that apparently that the Nintendo Switch is not powerful enough for such as things like the Journey, which was back in FIFA last three years or so. They said to Nintendo Switch fans that there wasn't enough power. Apparently, it could only run on the Frostbite engine, despite it only being just, you know, cutscenes, really. And apparently, it's not powerful enough. Okay, that's understandable. Kind of. If you look at FUT, there's no foot champions. It has its own individual market, so you're literally only facing a market of about you and about 10 other people as well. Career mode, any features that's in career mode does not get brought over. All the brand new training features that is in this year's version of FIFA on the console is not in this game either. Literally, think of any other feature that's been added to FIFA um, since FIFA 17, so 18 or onwards, and yes, you're right, it's not in this FIFA. Now, EA says back to this that a Apparently, there's not enough market on Nintendo, and it's their fault because they aren't buying. The sales are too low. Well, I don't know what to expect when you're literally giving people a... What's the word for it? The the peasant version of the game. You, you get the peasant copy of the game. It's literally like they look at Nintendo fans as if they are literally peasants. And maybe they think that they're just all children. Like, oh, only 12-year-olds have Nintendo Switch, so we're just giving them the same game. But hey, there's brand new kits. There's brand new rosters. That's it. Like, that's literally, it's just a brand new kit. If you want to get Manchester United's brand new kit for this year, then go and give us a number £40. It's ridiculous, but that is what they've done. And again, I'm seeing no one up in arms about this because it's almost like we just suspect this now. But I thought that I'll bring this to light to the community that this is actually a thing that's really happening. And tell me down below in the comments, have you got Nintendo? Have you played any FIFA games? Because... I just, I, I can't believe they actually are doing this. I thought they will change something. Like, surely as a company, you wouldn't go out of your way to purposely off an entire platform and literally treat them like second-class citizens. But that is pretty much what they've done here. Any new feature, they just don't get. They just, they're not allowed it. No room in the inn. Sorry, bro. You, can, you can't get these cool features. That's only for the big boys. I mean, you all know the reason why. It's all because of microtransactions. Because guess what? Why would you put in any 
FIFA point in the Nintendo Switch, which, by the way, that is also still there. Yes, trust me. Hey, peasant, you are not allowed to get these brand new cream of features that the real big boys and the normal people are using on the console. But don't you worry, we'll still allow for you to open FIFA points because that is, of course, still here. Why would it not be? Please, please feel free and please spend 20 odd pounds to get Castile's as your best player. Thank you very much for your hard earned money. And you probably end up spending more money on that than what you would on the entire game itself when the game is the same thing as FIFA 17. I actually can't believe like this is actually unreal. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get away with this. Like how can you literally feed people the same game from FIFA 17 four years ago? Like if it was last year's game, it'd be like okay maybe they're preparing for the new gen consoles. I don't know. May I, don't, I don't know. Maybe that could be a benefit of doubt. But no, it's the same thing, and they keep on telling them the same thing. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous, man. And also, I may actually just add in because I've not said it yet, but. It's not just FIFA 17, but it's the Xbox 360 version of FIFA 17. Yeah, yeah. The gameplay and everything about it is completely copied of the Xbox 360 version of FIFA 17. Saying that the actual career mode features has been unchanged since FIFA 15. I'm not even lying. It's been the same thing since FIFA 15. You know FIFA 15 when players like Iniesta and Xavi were still at Barcelona? Yeah, that long ago. In FUT, there's nothing like squad battles. There's obviously nothing like foot champions. And there's definitely nothing like stadium customization. It's just literally like, UK, you can play online. And that's it. Have fun, mate. But as long as you can open packs, then that's the main thing. You can open packs. Now, I don't personally play it on Nintendo, but I actually can't believe that there's probably people out there that bought this version of the game and they're actually getting scammed so badly right now. There's 19,000 players on the transfer market. 19,000 compared to the millions that's on console. It is so dead. But there's one more scam, which I find even more scummier about this, which is, oh, this is, this is painful. And EA... I really hope that you guys burn in hell for this because this is awful, absolutely awful. So let's say that you'll be thinking, okay, I'll just buy FIFA 19, FIFA 20, FIFA 18. I'll buy the cheaper version of the game because it's a pretty much the same game. It's the same game with different color menus and a different kit. That's really it, right? You, that's, that's really it. But this is a scummy thing, which I honestly, it makes me sick that they've actually done this. This is what EA have done. If you go, on the Nintendo eShop, where you can actually go and buy and download games, FIFA 20, FIFA 19, and FIFA 18 are now disappeared from the eShop. You can no longer buy 20, 19, or 18 on the Nintendo eShop, which means you've got to buy FIFA 21 if you want to go buy it digitally on the Switch. So the only way you can actually go and buy 18 or 19 is if you're already on the hard copy or if you somehow sadly already own the game yourself and just keep on that game But if you have not got FIFA at all on your Nintendo Switch You just bought a new Nintendo Switch then your only way to play FIFA is by buying the brand new 40 pound version or $50 version of the game or go buy it of a hard copy Which I don't know how hard or easy that could be depending on where you live in the world So simply put don't buy this game. This is literally scummy and scamming people in the highest order. And they try and get around it by saying that, oh, but we told you that it was last year's version. But the thing is, oh, that last year's version was also copied of 19 and 18 and so on. So they're, they're lying to you, but they're also not at the same time to get around that, which is really, really scummy. And I mean, are we even surprised? We're not. And if you say that I'm giving the EA too much stick here, then genuinely, how do you feel being sold the same version of the same game for the last four years as gameplay is the exact same thing? I don't think you'd be a big fan of that. And the fact this is still happening and they've not done anything at all is really, really, really sad. I can't believe it, man. But there you go, lads. Forty guys would enjoy this. And also, shout out to Nintendo Life for helping out with this video as well. Their link is down below in the description. And lads... This is, this is incredible. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. My name is Vizal. See you next time. Also, I just want to say thank you all so much for 215,000 subscribers. I'm doing all I can to try and move the channel forward, going through everything. And I just want to try and bring forward just as much content as I can to you guys. And your support has meant the absolute world. Never think that it goes unlooked. And yeah, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Make sure you stay safe and also your family as well. And let's go. And I'll see you all next video, boys.